Hello, today we are talking about uploading contacts to your KB Core CRM. My name, if you don't know, is Katie, and I am the CRM Fairy. Um, I help real estate agents with their KV Core systems, as well as some social media marketing, other real estate marketing, and beyond. So today we are talking about your smart CRM and uploading contacts one at a time. So here is our dashboard to our KV Core system. And one thing that you can do is hit this quick actions button, this little drop down, and then add contact. You add all your information here, um, press the green button to add contact, they're into your CRM, and you're still on your dashboard doing whatever you have to do. So if you just remembered somebody you met over the weekend, or just remembered, oh, I never added my sister's cousin, blah, 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 who was interested in buying a home, you can just quick action, add them, and then be on your way with your dashboard inquiries. Or, of course, you can go over to your smart CRM and hit this big green button, opens the same thing here. So we're just gonna go with our generic John Smith. And this does have a little asterisk, asterisk here. <laughs> Am I saying that right? Um, but it actually is not required. Um, if you just have a cell phone number for this person, you can just add a cell phone. Um, but if you do have an email address, that's great as well. So we're just gonna go with John Smith at gmail.com. And then cell phone, we don't have this phone number. So we just have email for John here. Permission to contact is the next thing that is on the list here. Um, and if you did have a cell phone, we want to say yes to these. And we also, of course, want to say yes to emailing. So if we accidentally say no, then on our CRM, the email icon will be grayed out and we won't be able to email John via our system. And that's not great because that's what you're using the system for, your email and text message marketing. So you always wanna say yes. Um, and even if you don't have a phone number, you could just get in the habit of saying yes to all three, um, just for future contacts, right? If you do have his home address, you can put that in. And then this is his info. Is he a buyer, seller, renter, vendor, or agent? And we're gonna go with buyer. And then we're gonna look at his status. So here, lead type, you can actually do more than one. So if he's a buyer and a seller at the same time, we can put that in. But lead status is a drop down because you can only have one. So we are going to go with um, new lead for John Smith because I met him at the grocery store. He saw me wearing my name badge. We got to talking about real estate and he was like, oh, I'm in the market to buy. So he's a buyer. He's a new lead. Um, he's not active yet because I don't have him in the system looking at things and growing. But that will change once I put him on a campaign or automations. So here you can put somebody on a smart campaign right away. I don't really suggest this unless you have a campaign in your system that you put everybody on, like a welcome campaign or something like that. Um, but you could always add a campaign manually to this person later on. Um, and then you could add hashtags or a note. So met at the grocery store, buying in 2023. And then hashtag, um, Let's just say he wants to look in Summit, which is a town in New Jersey. Okay, so then I go add contact. We wait a little bit. And then he's going to pop up here. This is his uh, profile. So as you can see, custom note is there. And then custom um, hashtag is there as well. So in that little note section, when you're adding a contact, you can add hashtags, you could add notes. Um, we could pin this to the top if it was super important. And then from here, we could do all of our automations that we want to do. So in addition to adding people one at a time from our add contact button here, there are a bunch of ways that contacts can be added into your KB Core system. Um, there's bulk uploading, there's the app, there's um, 
them doing it for you, you doing it for yourself. So there's a, a few different ways to go about that. I just wanted to share this one way today and actually a little self-promotion. We are doing CRM week. Maybe you've seen this on your social media because I do have an ad out. But if you want to learn more about the KV Core Smart CRM, you can actually head to tinyurl slash CRM bootcamp. It will open this page. Um, and then we're going over a bunch of things for the week of February 6th. So we're uploading contacts three to three plus ways, actually. Um, we're going to go over the anatomy of contact and setting up all those automations that are important. We're going to go over contact organization with hashtags and statuses. Um, then we're going to talk about communicating with your contacts and avoiding spam because there are certain ways or certain things you need to do in your KV Core communication to avoid the spam folder. And then automations that are from KV Core that do things behind the scenes that some people get confused about, um, how to turn them off or on, and how to avoid them. So if you want in the link, I'm going to put in the description, obviously, if you're watching this on YouTube, and you could sign up for free and then join me for a week-long boot camp all about the smart CRM section of your KV Core system. Because if you are new to KV Core or if you're um, wanting to get into it more, there are just like three things that you need to know about your KV Core system. And obviously the smart CRM is the biggest one because that's your contacts and that's how you have to communicate with people. Um, and if you're not doing that well or correctly, then you're not using the system as you should. So I hope you join me for smart CRM week. Um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be informative and it won't take too much of your time because um, I know that you have a million things on your plate. So they're going to be semi-short trainings to uh, get you going. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope to see you there.